it's Yoshi here and welcome back to Spirit University. In our last episode, I shared with you a spirit diagram and I also talked about Pearl Universe. And if you haven't watched our last episode, then please do watch Mediumship Training Video 1 and I'll leave a link below, okay? So today we're going to be talking about the spirit world and the definition and purpose of mediumship. Let's just get started by talking about the spirit world. So where do we go after we die? You know, when we die and leave our physical body, we go to so-called heaven or spiritual world. And many people give different names to the non-physical world. So I'll simply call the place that we go to after we exit, or more accurately, after our soul withdraws its focus energy from our physical body, the spirit world. So where is the spirit world located? The spirit world is everywhere. And when we hear that our loved ones who crossed over to the other side are in heaven, and it sounds as if heaven is elsewhere, someplace so far away, right? But in fact, the spirit world is right here and right now. It's with us and all around us. The spirit world is intermingled and interwoven with the physical world. And it's the place that most of our consciousness goes during our sleep. The spirit world is never separated from the physical world. And a physical world where we live is a part of the spirit world. And the physical world cannot exist without the spirit world. So many people do not believe in the existence of the spirit world. And it's simply because they cannot see it with their physical eyes, right? And the reason why we cannot see the spirit world with our physical eyes is because the, the vibrational frequency of the spirit world and that of the, the physical world are very, very different. And our physical world is really dense compared to the, the spirit world. So the dense energy of the physical world creates an illusional gap between here and the spirit world. And in addition to our physical density, there's one other factor that creates an illusion of separation. And would you like to guess what, what it could be? That one factor, one thing is fear. Our fear makes us really dense energetically. And that's why so many kids are much better at tapping into the spirit world and see deceased loved ones or spirit friends. And it's simply because small children's energy is less dense than adults and simply because the children's ego is not formed fully, which means they have much less fears and judgment attached to themselves than the grown-ups. So small children usually have easier time tapping into the energy of the spirit world and being able to perceive deceased loved ones much more easily than the grown-ups because their energy is closer to the frequencies of the spirit world. So earlier I talked about this, you know, this world, the physical world and the spiritual world are intermingled and interwoven. And there are many dimensions that exist in both this physical world and the spiritual world. And to best describe this dynamic, just visualize a large cake with many, many layers. And each layer is part of the whole, existing together within a cake, right? So think of uh, each layer as a dimension in, in the physical world with a specific vibrational frequency. And the spirit world is like milk, flour, eggs, sugar, and so on. And they exist in the baked cake, but you cannot see them because they are all mixed together and blended so well. You cannot see where the milk and eggs begin or where they end within the baked cake, right? And the spirit world is sort of like that. You cannot see the beginning and ending of the spirit world, but it exists right here, right now. But the spirit world is intermingled with the physical world so well that you cannot see it even though it's here. So to get a glimpse into the spirit world, you must adjust your frequency to the frequency of the spirit world. And so in a similar way, if you try to see your deceased loved ones in the spirit world using your physical eyes, you will not be able to see them. And you must use your spiritual senses to actually see spirit people who are not at all dense in terms of vibrational frequencies. And it's simply because they are not tied to the density of the physical body. 
you would have to shift your awareness and transcend your physicality to tap into the energy and consciousness of the beings and the spirit world. And people who are sensitive, and meaning people who are able to consciously or unconsciously shift their awareness and adjust their frequency to the, the lighter and much faster vibrational frequency of the spirit world, are able to tap into the energy of the spirit world and perceive the non-physical beings. And again, they are not using the dense physical eyes, but they are using their spiritual senses. And this sounds really, really complicated, but it's not complicated at all. It's quite simple when you actually do it, which we'll be covering in another video. So spirit world is everywhere, and it's simply a vibration away. So moving on to the next topic, what is mediumship? A modern term of mediumship means simply the spirit communication, the practice of certain people known as mediums to mediate communication between discarnate spirits, meaning souls without a physical body, and living human beings, the soul with the a physical body, just like you and I. And this definition is slightly a narrower view of looking at mediumship, but mediumship is in a much broader sense a process that enables human instruments, the channels, the mediums, to shift their vibrational frequency to the, the vib vibrational frequency of the spirit world and establish a communication between this material world and the non-physical world. And any form of inspiration, such as musical inspiration and artistic scientific inspiration, they first originate in the spirit world. And then the inspirational ideas are passed on to any open channels like yourself and you bring them down to the material level and have you ever had an experience where all of a sudden an idea flew into your mind and despite others discouragement and disagreement you took action and things turned out really really well for you so in a broader sense you were a medium right at that moment and you receive an idea and the inspiration to take certain action. And I'm sure that many people have experienced something like that. So in a broader sense, we're all channels and instruments and mediums for the light of consciousness to the spiritual energy to flow through. But I'm going to be focusing moving forward on a narrower definition of mediumship and the process mediums use to connect with discarnate souls, the souls without a physical body. All right, moving on to the, the purpose of mediumship. So what's the purpose of mediumship? Now through the demonstrations of mediumship, not only are mediums and discarnate souls working together as a team are able to give evidence of the survival of the human soul, but they are also able to bring tremendous comfort and healing to the bereaved, which is one of the most important purposes of mediumship. Now just imagine a family who recently lost one of their family members from let's say tragic accident or suicide and they want a closure. They want to know that their deceased loved ones is okay. And the amazing thing is that a lot of time the family members living here on earth experience a spiritual contact themselves from their deceased loved ones soon after their particular family member died and the family here on earth just want confirmation that it was real and that contact was real. They weren't simply imagining. Now when a powerful confirmation is given to the bereaved by a medium, it can be tremendously healing to the bereaved. And I also believe that mediumship is a powerful process spirits use to expound the teaching of spirit and to remind us of who we really are connection with each other and our connection to the divine intelligence. So mediumship is so much more than just giving evidence of the survival of the human soul. So to recap, the spirit world is everywhere. It's right here, right now. And it's the place you go to when you sleep and it's the place you move fully and blend with your soul. The spirit world is never separated from the physical world and the physical world cannot exist without the spirit. Regarding the definition of mediumship, and we focus on the narrower definition of mediumship, it is a process a medium and discarnate souls use together to establish and allow a communication between this world, the physical world, and non-physical world to take place. And one of the most important purposes of mediumship is to bring healing to the bereaved. Okay.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then please do subscribe so you get notified when new training episodes are uploaded. And I promise you that there will be so many more videos on mediumship and straight communication. And I wish you a fantastic weekend.